Hello, my name is Tiffany Chang, and this is Conductor as CEO, where I share some of my ideas about leadership. I imagine a world where conductors make artistic organizations great, like CEOs make businesses great, first by being of service to its people so that they may feel like their work matters. I recall a part of my own conducting training that involved hearing horror stories from experienced conductors about their work with professional orchestras. I heard stories of orchestras shaking their heads at the conductor's interpretive choices, orchestras deciding if they liked the conductor or not, and thus their success within the first 30 seconds of meeting them, and orchestras intentionally ignoring conductors and giving conductors a hard time if the conductor does not earn the orchestra's trust and respect. I do believe that an important moral of these stories was to have integrity in one's craft and preparation as a conductor. At the same time, those stories also conditioned us to believe that the default relationship status between a conductor and orchestra is one of conflict and distrust. We expect to be walking into conflict and having to save, defend, and prove ourselves. And here's the interesting thing. Similar stories occur on the other side of the relationship, too. Musicians who work with conductors learn from their training to cater to a conductor's preferences, to protect themselves from being treated poorly, and to still be able to perform at a high level, even when the conductor is not helpful. All this makes the idea of standing in front of an orchestra or playing in an orchestra such a scary, stressful situation that feels like going into battle. In fact, it may feel like a battle against each other rather than going into battle with each other. We've perpetuated this culture of distrust through stories taken from real experiences. And we need to start passing down new stories stemming from new experiences. Conductors can stop assuming orchestras by default are out to get the conductor or would choose to be defiant just to be so. Orchestras can stop assuming that conductors are out to abuse their power and take advantage of musicians. In fact, those assumptions are severe distractions to our going into battle together. We can start by changing our assumptions as leaders to change this culture across large organizations. Here's one way to rebuild trust from social psychologist and Harvard professor, Amy Cuddy. As a leader, I can show up trusting the orchestra to want me to do well and that it will support me in doing so. I can also show up assuming that they want to do well and I can focus all my energy on supporting them to do so. We start from believing we can trust them and that they can trust us. In a way, we must give this trust blindly and generously because we can't guarantee it will be reciprocated right away or ever. But as Cuddy adds, when we give trust, we often get it back. Trust that goes both ways can not only help us improve how we do our work, but focus our attention on doing the challenging work together as a team. As leaders, we are responsible for taking the leap to trust first. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you and have a great day.